All right. Timer start. Good luck. This is it. All right. We're clear. Timer Put the spurs to her, Chuck. <laughs> Woo, doggy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hot, wow, that was beautiful. This, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and RC Model Aviation students all across the globe, this is a probably the only scale model of a Bell X1 in radio control format in existence. This is EDF powered, and, and she's a bullet, baby. She's a bullet. Wow. Damn! <laughs> she is a bullet. Wow. Was that Brent? Was that full throttle? Yeah. What, what that was? Okay. All right. So the Bell X1 on October 14th, I believe, 1947. It's the first aircraft to break the sound barrier. Piloted by a Captain Chuck Yeager, later to become a General I Chuck Yeager. Nothing lifted off with yeah. almost no trim. Once I got the flaps up, I had to trim the roll a little bit. Okay. But uh, Do you, the, the okay. takeoff was like by itself. It came off the ground by itself. So you, so clearly your 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 pre runs the other day really helped you dial her in with yeah, regards to it rotation. Been, it would have been an interesting ride if I hadn't done that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How's she feel, brother? How's she uh, feel? Incredible. The CG is like dead nuts, perfect right now. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, 6S, 6,000 smart packs, 7, smart packs. Okay, smart ESC, so I know when I'm losing yep. battery. Yep, you're flying around your, your IX-20. This is uh, just above half power here. Okay. Oh my god. Doesn't that send, just send shivers down your spine? Jeez. Perfect color. All right, I'm going to do a, a climb here, and then we'll test the flaps out and bring her in. The Bell X1. The, the first plane yeah, right. to break the sound barrier. <laughs> ba -boom. Uh, yeah, ba boom! <laughs> Out there at the Happy Bottoms Riding Club. All right, so let's see. We've got our first oh, no, notch. Here's the second notch. <coughs> Brother, I'm not. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, well, I mean, did did she down respond down. at all? I mean, you, the flaps went down. It was just like smooth. Yeah, they came down. Okay, well, yeah, but. Whew. All right, here we go. I'll support the bar. Beauty. Beauty. Yeah. Beauty. Woo! Yeah. All right. It's too heavy, Brent. Yeah. Okay, so there is a lot of. Uh, Consternation amongst uh, amongst Brent. There he is, pilot, builder, and pilot, builder, and pilot, Brent Heck, right there. And uh, planes weighing in at eight pounds, and it has like nine and three quarter pounds. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't worry, it's even heavier. Yeah, nine and three quarter. Very small wing, but uh, boy, I'll tell you what, it does not act like it. Wow. Congrats, brother! <laughs> Woo! You're cha channeling your inner Chuck Yeager, brother. Yes, sir. Get a smile. Woo! Squat yeah, down, ball. Come on now. Squat down. There you go, brother. There you go. There you go. All right. This is the maiden flight right here. Yeah. Yeah, boy. All right. So Brent got the the original plane. 
the molds from uh, from Paul. There you go, Paul Stelly. That's a beauty right there. Thanks. That's great job, gentlemen. Great yeah, job. All right. This is a. Uh, let's get there. Lift it off by itself. Is it fly good? Flies awesome. You get a picture, Justin? Yeah. All right. So Pyrep, Pyrep, what you think? Uh. I mean, you can see for yourself, it just took off by itself, almost no trim needed. A little bit right. of right trim, right. almost no pitch trim at all. Uh, very little coupling with the flaps. Yeah. Put the flaps down. And yeah. Beautiful. Outstanding. Great job, brother. Yeah, flies inverted, just a little touch it down. Uh huh. Performance is as good as I could expect it to be for yeah. something with an 80 millimeter that weighs almost 10 pounds. <laughs> You're right. With wait, wait, wait. That's an 80? Yeah, with hardly any wing on it. So. Oh my gosh. That's an E-Fly 80 millimeter. Okay. Like out of the F-16. The, the, the F that's out of the F-16 yeah. uh, family of models. Okay, so yeah, okay. The gear worked amazing. Yep. Uh, Paul did an awesome job on the main gear getting those all figured out. Oh, he's out. like the gear mad scientist. Yeah, he creates this weird stuff like that. Yeah. It always works, you know? Yeah. So, <laughs> it flies amazing. So I'm sure we'll fly it lots of times now that it's not. Yes, scary. sir. I'm afraid it was going to be a little scary, but. Uh, <laughs> no, this is like awesome. Yeah, it was almost like a sport ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great job, brother. Thanks, guys. Appreciate All right. All right. All right. You saw it here, ladies and gentlemen. We're at the John Morgan Electric Fun Fly, St. George, Utah. You just saw. I'm kind of shaking. You just saw the maiden flight of a very, very, very special model. This is a, a scra completely scratch-built Bell X-1, a model of the uh, first supersonic aircraft, first broke sound barrier, uh, October 14, 1947. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Helps out in the algorithms. Cheers, everybody. Much more to come from St. George.